John Davidson was very adamant that as a sequel, it was going to break new ground, but his motto was, this is in the future, but it's only $1.98 into the future. Not Buck Rogers, not Star Trek. So all the cop cars were Ford Tauruses. They were all painted matte black. There was no flashy insignias. Uh, all the money went into RoboCop himself. And number two, the one I was lucky to work on, RoboCop as a suit had changed. It had gone from kind of a clunky metal slash fiberglass thing into this kind of blue Look, I kept joking, this looks like a Ford Fairlane because it had a blue cast to it. It wasn't a fabric suit, but it was kind of like armor. I had to light it like a car. There's a difference between specular highlights and planar, uh, planar highlights. So a hard light will give you a ping, and a planar light, which is would be a big, big wall of, of white, that the, the shape of this, a vertical car basically, with arms and legs and a helmet, that would reflect the shape of it and give it more modeling. So that was my mission, to make this RoboCop stand out as literally when the door opens and he steps out, it's like, my God, uh, it was a new suit. We had to introduce it in that way. And Kirsch was very aware of how to, how to, when you see the snow walkers in Empire Strikes Back, it wasn't like, oh, them again. It was like, wow, same effect with RoboCop.